You petitioned for a variance on the work visa quota for, for mental health professionals from Africa. Ray Hernandez had started the process and then asked for more money, which you can't get without a work permit. It's a hell of a catch-22. That is a good case summary, but I don't deal with scumbag lawyers anymore. Here's your work visa. In the new drama St. Judy, actress Michelle Monaghan portrays real-life immigration attorney Judy Wood, who spent a lifetime championing the change of immigration law. And joining me right now is Judy Wood herself and Michelle Monaghan. Greetings from Las Vegas. Good morning. All right, Judy, we have to hear the story. Tell me about when someone approached you that wanted to make a movie about your life. Tell us about that, that script-to-screen adventure. Well... It happened one early morning in Atwater, California. I picked up Dimitri, who's the screenwriter, and we went to Lancaster, California, which was a detention center. He was a law student at Pepperdine, where I went to law school. And I took him with me, and I showed him the detention center, and I, in fact, showed him how to do a case. And then later on, he started writing this script after he had gotten, gotten to know me. That's how it started. And Michelle, I, I can't imagine for an actress portraying a real life person, she's sitting right next to you. So tell me about meeting Judy for the first time. It was a very, very special meeting. And it was, um, I will say it was emotional as well because I was absolutely so humbled and inspired by her in just reading the actual screenplay, but then being able to sit down in front of her and ask her questions and really to hear all of the stories that uh, that she's endured on behalf of her clients and to really see her living her mission in life uh, was incredibly empowering. Uh, and I, there was no doubt that I was so proud to be able to represent her in this movie and that and how important I, I felt and I still continue to feel that this movie needs um, audiences to see it because there's so much to be to be learned about the the human experience of so many immigrants and, and refugees out there. Not even here six months. You spawn your own practice. I uh, need you to talk to Alex. Got into trouble. You want me to fix it? I love how when he's good, Alex, he's yours. But when he's bad, Alex, I'm the one who has to deal with it. Can you talk to him, Matthew? I have always done everything you've asked. Thank you. I hope he inherited the best qualities of the two of us and not the worst. He's resilient like you. Now, Judy, you've championed change in the asylum laws and immigration for most of your career. Exactly what did the asylum laws say before you got involved? Well, basically, uh, a person who has a well-founded fear of persecution can apply for asylum. But the uh, grounds of the persecution have to be, they're very limited. There are five grounds. And so if a woman presents her case and uh, is not able to enunciate the fact that she actually does have a political opinion and that she's been raped on account of her political opinion, if she's not able to actually garner those facts, most likely she will lose her case in court. Mm -hmm. And the problem is there's so much shame and guilt attached to the fact that the person who you're representing has actually been a victim. It's very hard for them to overcome that shame and to tell the truth. And then when they do tell the truth, they're not believed. So it's kind of a crushing experience. And Michelle, tell me about working with Common and of course the great Al Molina. I mean, what's there to say? <laughs> they're, they're incredible. Uh, they're both such gentlemen and just tremendous actors. Uh, they're, you know, Alfred is just a ball of energy, as you know, and, and Common is just has this, there's something that I would refer to. He's a bit of a quiet giant and uh, just has a beautiful presence He's on magical, screen. Really. He is magical. He's just a, a tremendous person and just uh, an inspiration to be around as well. Felt very, I was in very, very good company. <laughs> Michelle, congratulations on the movie. And Judy, you're an inspiration. And I'm sure this movie will be for generations to come. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you can catch St. Judy in theaters now. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFromCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.